welcome back to my channel. This week, I'm gonna show you how to cut your ferret's fingernails. I do this with my ferrets every two to three weeks, depending on how long their nails are. Um, I can normally get through all four of my ferret's fingernails in about 10 to 15 minutes. I um, have been doing this with them since they were young. I got my ferrets when they were about 12 weeks old. I have two sets of siblings. I have Lucy and Weasel, they are 16 months old, and I have Bear and Ruby, who are seven months old. And I've just been doing this method with them since they were, that since I got them, basically. Um, there is another method to cut ferret fingernails, and um, that method involves two people, I'm assuming, and I'm not really sure how someone could do it without a second person, but if you, that method would be scruffing them by the back of the neck and the other person cutting their nails or, you know, however, it would just involve two people and one person would scruff the ferret and the other person would cut their nails. Um, the method that I use requires putting your ferret on their back. If your ferret is a ferret that does not want to be put on their back or does not do good on their back, please don't put them on their back. If they don't like it or it stresses them out, this may not be the best method for you. So, um, I recommend checking out different methods and finding the one that fits you and your ferret. Um, ferrets are not created equal, and so what works for one may not necessarily work for another. So just, you know, I cut my ferret's nails because it's a maintenance that needs to be done for safety reasons. That's how I look at it. Um, I don't want their nails to be caught on anything. I don't want them to get hurt get snagged. Um, so I do try to keep up with that so that, you know, for safety reasons and just so they're maintained and taken care of. Um, there is, I will go over in the video, the quick and how high up to cut. Um, I am not one of those people that cuts right at the quick, um, right before the quick. I, you know, I just, I don't want to make my ferrets bleed. I'm sure that I'm probably overly cautious but I personally would rather be overly cautious and have to cut their nails a little earlier than maybe the person who is more confident, who can cut their nails, you know, right up to the quick. And, it, you know, to me, it's just, it's not worth the risk. Um, I've, they do make a powder if you were to accidentally cut the quick that you, um, it's like a medicated powder and you dip their little finger in it or their toe or whatever. And, um, and it's supposed to stop the bleeding or it's slow it down. You can also use cornstarch um, if you have it, I, I've only ever cut the quick of one of my ferrets. It was one time and it was with bear and he was a baby and he was very wiggly and he was licking ferret toad and then he wasn't. And I was cutting when he wasn't and I nicked him and it was kind of traumatizing and it was a little scary. And I, um, you know, I, I just, he didn't like it. It kind of freaked him out. It took me a little while to be able to cut his nails again without him feeling like worried that I, you know, it just, he remembered. And so, um, we don't have the problem anymore, but for me, it's just, it was an accident when I did it, but for me, it's just better to cut as far up as I can get safely. Um, like I said, I would much rather do it, you know, more frequently versus trying to get it perfect or, or right to a certain point and then accidentally hurting him. Um, it's not the end of the world if it happens, but if you can prevent it, I'm just more like, I think I want to prevent it kind of person. So without further ado, I'm going to show you the video. And if you like it, please click the subscribe button below and I will see you next week. I'm gonna cut all their nails today. And what I normally get is a soft blanket, some ferritone or salmon oil, whatever your ferrets use. Um, and a pair of little scissors. So I am going to show you where to cut when you're cutting their nails. Um, basically their nails are kind of like dogs and cats. You just don't want to cut past the quick, which is this red part right there. Um, you want to cut before that. <laughs> if you don't, it will be a bloody mess. It'll look far worse than it is, but it's Definitely a little scary. Um, I've only ever had it happen once, and Ferret was a baby. So all in all, they do pretty good. So what you wanna do is get some Ferritone, cause they like that. Put a little bit on their belly. And then you just 
cut. And she doesn't even notice. See? Just be careful not to cut the quick because they will bleed and be traumatized and not really want you to do it again. So, and you may need to add more ferritone. I don't put a lot, just little drops. If you put too much ferritone on at one time, they will lick it all off really quickly and then you will have to continue to put ferritone on. And too much of a good thing could end up being a bad thing, if you know what I mean. And then we just cut nails. We do backs. I do all four this way. I've been doing it since I got them, so they're pretty comfortable with it. Um, I know some ferrets don't sit still for this, so I think it just depends on your ferret and their comfortability. And I do this like every two weeks or so. But she's completely calm. She just wants to lick that off. And then I normally go and get the next ferret. All right, so this is Bear. Hi, buddy, say hi. He's so cute. And we're gonna do him the same way. safely as possible <laughs> when he was a baby he wiggled on me and he got cut and he was very upset to say the least okay buddy he eats this really fast so I don't I use a little bit at a time I'm not giving him a ton and I just try to go as, like I said as quickly as I can without cutting him um, he's pretty good though. They're all actually really good at this. Oh, I know, buddy. We're almost there. Handsome. So, I normally just sit one down. Then I say, Come here, little dude. Then we're going to do little Weasel Man. Say hi, Weasel Man. Hi, handsome boy. Say hi. Okay, let's see your turn. Ready? All right. Okay. Alright, we're going to do a little weasel. So basically what I do is I get his little foot. And the weasel broke his leg when he was a baby. So every time that we do this, we normally get a ferret or two who likes to come and see what's going on, check it out, help lick the ferritone off, just be in the way in general. Um, it's actually pretty cute. It's funny. I actually go through more ferritone than I probably need to. Um, but anyway, Bear wanted to see what was going on, so he did. All right, what is on your toe, little dude? What did you do? Oh, you got something stuck. What is that, bud? Oh, <laughs> silly girl. Say hi, you saying hi? When cutting your ferret's back feet, be a little extra careful. I notice with my ferrets, they tend to pull away more with their back feet than they do with their front feet. Thank you for joining me this week. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below. And if you like this video, please remember to click that subscribe button.